Hi folks, welcome to another Stall13.com video. We're here in a tack room in a barn and I want to talk about how to buy a used saddle. I've talked about buying a new saddle and a used saddle will hold its value for 20, 30, 40, even 50 years. If someone takes care of the leather and they don't abuse the saddle and they clean it once or twice a year, there's no reason why you do not want to buy a 20, 30, or 40 year old saddle. If you like the saddle, if the saddle fits your horse, it's a good buy. Saddles are expensive. Some saddles now are two, three, four thousand dollars. You might be able to find a used saddle in a tack shop, maybe on Craigslist, maybe uh, a sign on a wall somewhere in a store, or perhaps you go to horse auctions. You might see a used saddle there. What is the best way, the proper way to shop for a used saddle? The first thing you need to do before you go shopping for a used saddle is know what a new one costs. All right? Think of it this way. If you're going to buy a used pickup truck, are you really not going to know what the price of a new one is? So that you can say, are you crazy? You want $30,000 for a five-year-old pickup truck when I can go get a new one for that? That's my point. You don't want to overpay. So you want to make sure that you understand the market. If you're looking for a used saddle, know what a similar type saddle and size is worth. So you know what a used one would be worth. The first thing you want to do is take an example of this saddle. Here is an old roping saddle. Look how the rubber is all chewed up. The horn is actually kind of loose. The leather is really dried and cracked. We even have some mold and mildew and this part is broken and flappy. The fleece underneath is dirty. This saddle is in need of major repair. Almost whatever you pay for this saddle, I promise you, you're going to double that, taking it to a saddle maker and fix it. Obviously, this isn't the type of saddle you want to buy. Now, we have a used saddle here. It looks good. It's clean. It's nice. It's light. What you want to do is you want to pick it up. You then want to turn the saddle upside down. Look at this fleece. Look how this fleece is snow white. Nice. No dirt, hardly any sweat. This saddle obviously hasn't been used very much or it's been well cared for. You want to make sure that your D-rings, all of your hardware, are not bent or rusted. You want to look at your stirrups. You want to make sure that the stirrups are in good repair, that it has nice stirrups. Do you even like the stirrups? Because if you want to replace the stirrups, you don't want to pay for something that you don't want. Stirrups can be as much as $60 to $200. You want to check out your leather. You want to look at every little single piece of leather to see if anything is dry rotted. You want to look at the fenders. You want to look at the skirt. You want to look at your cantle. You want to look at any stitching, any tooling that's been done. Has this saddle look like it's been patched or repaired? You also want to look at the horn of the saddle. Make sure that it's tight, that it's strong, it doesn't have any striation marks. Did somebody try to tow a pickup truck with a horse and saddle? You want to look at the pummel. You want to make sure that it's in good quality and it's in good shape. What you want to do is you actually want to take the saddle, you want to put it up on its edge, and you want to squeeze as hard as you can, a bear hug. If you don't think you're strong enough, have someone bigger and stronger do this. You want to squeeze and you want to see if the front of the saddle around this pummel, if it flexes. If it flexes or squeezes, it's broke. Don't buy it. The other test you want to do is you want to set this saddle up on a, on a hard surface and you want to push down, bear down like this. If you get flexing in this part of the saddle, it means that this tree is broken. Don't buy it. These are all the things that go into buying a used saddle. The other thing that you want to think about when you buy a used saddle is how bad do you need it? Do you need it or do you want it? There's a big difference. You might want it, but you might not need it. And money is tight. Remember, folks, it's a lot easier to save money than it is to spend it or earn it. Now, the last thing I want to talk about when buying a used saddle is if you go to a place and it's on consignment, the store isn't going to give you any warranty or guarantee because all they're doing is maybe making 40 or 50, 60 dollars off of somebody's used saddle that's in a store. If you're buying it from a, pers a, a private person, look around. What shape is their horses in, their barn in, their vehicles, their house, their yard? 
because those are more important than a saddle. So if the place is junky, if the place doesn't look very good, if it doesn't look like things are in good repair, how much are they going to care about a piece of tack? So a lot of things to think about when shopping for a saddle. Are you shopping for a saddle? Yes. But look at where you're buying it. Talk to them. Ask them. Ask them if you can try it out. Bring your horse. Put a horse in a trailer and see how the saddle fits on the horse. Go ahead and tack up. Rig up. Put your saddle on, whatever terminology you want to use. Put it on. Get it on the horse. You're going to use it. And sit on that horse and go for a ride. Does it fit your butt? Is it comfortable? Does it make funny sounds that you're not used to? Because maybe you've done all these little tests that you've seen in this video, but something is just starting to go wrong with the saddle. That's why. Would you really buy a car? Would you buy a used car without turning it on? Would you buy a used car without taking it for a test drive? Would you really buy a used car without turning it on, without taking a test drive, and not having someone with mechanical skills to let you know if the car is even safe? No. Then why are you going to risk your life and your horse's safety by not checking out a used saddle? Sorry, had to get a little snotty with you. This has been another Stall13.com video. Take care of yourself and your horses.